Hey church, welcome to day number 15 of this journey together on these 21 days of prayer. And I have a confession to make. I thought it would never happen to me. I'd never had trouble with my eyesight before and I prided myself with 2020 vision. And I always pass those eye chart tests with flying colors, but one day I realized that over time these eyes got tired when reading. And I found myself not wanting to give in, protesting to my wife, no, I'm not squinting, when finally I gave in. And I got these glasses and when I put them on I was so surprised. As I was driving, I found myself saying, hey, you know, I'm used to that sign being dull and I don't remember it being that clear. I can really read it. Now the truth is that the signs were the same. They weren't new, they hadn't been altered, they only looked different because I got glasses for these old eyes. Now in Mark chapter 1, and I'll begin reading in verse 35, but first let me give you the context. Jesus had spent all day preaching, and then all night he prayed for and he healed tons of people with various diseases, and in between time, in between all of this activity, he found the time and the energy to set some people free from demons. Now I know for myself, after preaching twice on Sunday, by the time I get home, I want nothing more than a good nap. And I can only imagine that sleep must have felt awfully good to Jesus that night, and I'll bet morning came quickly. Well, here's what it says, verse 35. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up. Then he left the house and went to a solitary place where he prayed. Now Simon and his companions were looking for him. When they found him, they exclaimed, everyone's looking for you. Jesus replied, let us go somewhere else to a nearby village so I can preach there also. That is why I've come. So he traveled throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and driving out demons. Now Jesus had a crazy schedule. He had a ministry that was unbelievably physically, emotionally, spiritually, in every way it was taxing. Everybody wanted his attention and Jesus was continually sought out by the needs of people as they asked him to deal with their issues, their maladies, and bondages. Now here we find Jesus, enveloped by the burdens and the choices and urgencies, needs and decisions to be made all around him. And while he was right in the middle of all this demanding agenda, there was one thing Jesus would not sacrifice. Jesus would not sacrifice his scheduled time with his Father. Now even if it cost him sleep, after he's been with his father, he comes away knowing what he has to do. I must go preach to those other villages. It's as if he's been able to put on some spiritual glasses to see the choices he needed to make. He could see now clearly for that day. I believe Jesus is giving us a powerful example. It's a model that we can follow. How can we make sense of our schedule when everything around us is crowding us. You see, before all the other voices speak into our day, you need to hear from His voice. You need God's glasses to truly discern the priorities of the coming day and to truly understand the needs of those around you. Just like I've never been really able to see clearly until I put these new glasses on, our life could be a lot less cloudy, a lot clearer, if we would only begin each day seeking out our Heavenly Father. We'd be able to look at our world through His eyes. With that focus in mind, let's pray together that we would be a focused people hearing from our God. Pray with me. Father, time is one of these things that we just have too little of. Lord, I, I know that during these 21 days we've set a new habit into our life, many of us. And now, Lord, we pray that you would continue to allow us to learn to get our orders from what we read in your word and teach us to give all of our burdens over to you. 
that we would allow you to carry them so that they would not have the power any longer to distort our vision. God, we pray that all of the signs that have probably been there all the time, I pray now that we could see them from this day forward clearer and clearer. Let us begin each day talking with you and listening to you, listening to our Heavenly Father. We know the other voices and the other choices that pull us right off course. Now we thank you, Lord, for building within us the habit to meet with you each day. Make it the highest priority of our personal schedule. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.